He's away and beats three of them. That is some run. This will be a magnificent try. Beautiful ball. Steps inside. He's got support. He goes the short side. Got good speed and gets them. He will be hard to stop. Oh, yes. Brilliant work. That is a pearler. Oh, thanks for joining us on Fox Sports right around Australia and on what is a particularly wet and miserable day on Sydney's northern beaches. We welcome you to Brookvale Oval for this round two a New South Wales Cup clash. Today it's the Sea Eagles back in the New South Wales Cup in 2011 facing the visiting Auckland Vulcans. Last weekend in the opening round of the Premiership, Manly going down whilst Auckland had a particularly good win. It'll be played tight in the fours today. There's been a lot of rain in Sydney overnight, so understandably the surface will be greasy. Let's now have a look at the two teams running around this afternoon. And the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles firstly, the side is Blanche, Shorter, Davies, Oldfield, Chapman, Foran, Riccardi, Cross, Higgins, Palau, Majali, the former Newtown Jet, Soward Hawkins, and the bench Cunningham, Tafau, Bovis, and Jones Weigold. And now the Auckland Vulcans, Aranga at fullback, Taka, Metcalf, Jelling, Peace, Hetar, Godinet, the skipper, Caird, Kingi, Gavet, Tai, Robinson, Taylor, the bench, Mara, Matora, Poaching, Huma, and Pasini. Looking forward to this match today at Brookvale Oval. The Auckland Vulcans certainly approaching this match in very good form. My special guest in commentary today, the legendary Steve Mortimer, who's sitting in for Peter Mulholland, who's unavailable. And we'll hear from Turvey shortly. Right now, though, it's a very good afternoon to Drury Forbes. Yes, good afternoon to you too, Tappy. And it's a wet one at Brookie today. A big day for the Eagles back at Brookvale Oval, back in the New South Wales Cup. We're joined with skipper Gary Riccardi. And Gary, it must be nice to be back at Brookie in the New South Wales Cup. Yeah, it certainly is. You know, we've got quite a young side. And, um, you know, we're all new, but um, we're looking forward to the challenge, definitely. Now, yourself personally, you're actually a member of the Toyota Cup Manly side last year. How are you finding the step up to the New South Wales Cup? I know it's only been one week. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit different to the Toyota Cup. It's a lot more physical. We've got uh, quite a few, a few boys who uh, played in the Toyota Cup last year. So, but, um, yeah, you know, we're all enjoying it. Well, there is no other way of saying it. Conditions here at Brookvale Oval are dreadful. There's been loads of rain today during the lead-up to kick-off. It's drizzling as I speak, and obviously the rain expected to continue. Here's the Manly Sea Eagles on the pitch, and I'm joining commentary today, sitting in for Peter Mulholland. It is Steve Mortimer. Good to see you, Turvey. Thanks very much, Dave, and it's great to be on the interchange bench with Peter Don't Mulholland, the ma main man. Matt Noyan is our referee this afternoon for this round two clash. Sea Eagles will run left to right on your screen in this first half, and we're underway. A fair bit of hang time on that kick. And returning the football for the Vulcans, One. Tolson Caird in jumper oh. 17. He's stopped in his tracks now from Kingi away. And Auckland, there is no doubt they have a massive pack of forwards getting up to play the board now. Akuma Tai. And now they come wide. Two passes off the ruck is the man wearing jumper number 15, James Gavet. Got a fair afro on him as well. He plays the ball. So the Vulcans doing a pretty good job here in their first set, hitting it up from their own end of the field. And conditions obviously tricky today, Steve, as we see them go to the open side. Oh, Dave, just quickly, on, on the Brookvale Oval, it's always been, there's sand underneath that uh, oval there, and there's always been good drainage, so you, it, it, it's holding up pretty well after all this rain. Okay, so the Vulcans go through their paces and approach the end of their first set. Got an A, the skipper, a good kick down towards the northeastern touchline. Coming back is Scott Blance. He's dropped the ball there. There are three Vulcans converged in defence and they forced the error. And that is an ideal start for them. Here's the replay, Steve. Yeah, look, in, in, uh, under these conditions, you really have got to focus on that ball. So this has given the uh, the Auckland team a, a great opportunity to see if they could score first. But uh, again, you've got, you just cannot make too many mistakes in these sort of conditions. Great kick chase by the Vulcans. There's no doubt they come into this game buoyed by their, their form. 
And now this is Taka, hard and straight. One of the biggest wingers in the New South Wales Cup competition. A real block-busting runner of the football. Now across again to, that's easy for me to say, James Gavet, five metres out. And again he offloads. He's a prolific offloader of the football. This is Tolson Caird. And Caird has stopped in his tracks a metre out. That time the tackler was Matt Cross. Now this is Darren Kingy. He's spinning. And if anything, may have gone back a little in that movement and he is back slammed by two seagulls defenders cross again was across the top a great chance for the vulcans out of the back row of tai and the defense from manly swarms in tai will be told to play it just a meter out two and a half minutes gone no score early in this game as we come across to godonay and now the ball sees some air from heta tried to put a grubbing kick in behind them it came off blake davis manly falling on it and they'll play the ball now center field about 15 out from their own line and for the first time today let's go downstairs to drury forbes it's inevitable drury you're going to be wet today yes certainly a few raindrops coming down here on the sideline good afternoon to you too turvy a uh, challenging afternoon for Manly. First afternoon back at Brookvale Oval in New South Wales Cup. A couple of late omissions. Daniel Harrison got called up into the first grade side, as did Tim Robinson. And Kyle Lodge still not recovered from that car accident. Vulcans are in very good form from last week, so it should be a good battle. Yeah, they're playing like they've got a real spring in their step. This is Junior Palau in 17. I mentioned the fact that the Vulcans have a big forward pack. Got to say, Manly, not exactly small. Now, Liam Foran. Kick downtown, it's a beautifully weighted kick. They'll want to get busy here, the Vulcans, and the chase from Manly is good. Fullback Aranga got it, but he was then taken by the Manly defence. Michael Chapman, it was, on the charge, Steve. That was good enthusiasm. Yeah, Dave, a kick is as good as it's chased, and well done to Michael Chapman too, locking uh, the Auckland Warriors' uh, Taka back into the uh, the field. So uh, a great kick and chase there, and uh, it certainly is going to put the pressure on the Auckland Vulcans. It was certainly an, an unorthodox tackle, but... Got the job done now. The line drop out from Willie Hetar. Not a bad one. 45 on the fly. Here's big Matt Cross winding them up and he charges back into the Vulcans defence. They had sufficient respect for him. Four tacklers involved in that as the rain again starts to fall here at Brookie. Junior Palau now. He's a big unit and takes the football a further 10 metres forward. He'll play it back to Liam Higgins. Now on the short side through Riccardi. An inside ball to Oldfield. Good defence. It was well read by the Vulcans and Matt Robinson particularly. And here's more pressure. Ray Majali, arguably Newtown's best player over the last two or three years, defecting to Manly. Now Blake Davies. He'll go close to scoring in the southwestern corner. Vulcans defence equal to the task. Can Manly cross? A kick by Gary Riccardi. It's pressure time. It comes off a seagull. Matt Cross got his hand to that. It'll come back to the 20 for the restart. That was a nice little way to kick there by Gary Riccardi. Up high enough so the seagulls can compete for it. But unfortunately, it went forward so they lose that opportunity.